In recent years, scientists have made astounding discoveries about the red planet, Mars. These findings hold the potential to change the entire trajectory of Mars exploration. The most remarkable revelation involves the presence of vast reservoirs of liquid water hidden deep beneath the Martian surface. The presence of this water could play a pivotal role in future missions, supporting human exploration, or even leading to the possibility of permanent relocation to Mars. Water is one of the most vital resources for sustaining life and enabling long-term exploration on another planet, and its discovery has ignited a wave of excitement among scientists and explorers alike. However, the excitement is tempered by a significant challenge, the water on Mars is buried so deep beneath the planet's surface that accessing it would be an enormous challenge. According to a recent analysis of seismic data collected by NASA's Mars InSight lander, the precious reservoirs of liquid water are located so far below the surface that current technology would make it difficult, if not impossible, to reach them. Still, this groundbreaking discovery offers new insights into Mars' geological history and provides a tantalizing clue about the planet's ancient past. While the water may be out of reach for now, understanding its presence is a crucial step in unraveling the mysteries of Mars' aquatic history. NASA's InSight lander, which operated from November 2018 to December 2022, was instrumental in this discovery. The lander's mission was to listen to the hums and rumbles beneath the surface of Mars, recording seismic activity that could offer clues about the planet's internal structure. Seismic waves, generated by geological activity deep within the planet, change as they pass through different materials, such as rock, ice, or liquid. By analyzing the behavior of these waves, scientists can gather valuable data about the composition and density of the materials they travel through. Researchers used a model similar to those employed in mapping underground oil fields and aquifers on Earth to analyze the seismic data collected by InSight. Their analysis revealed that the most plausible explanation for certain seismic anomalies was the presence of a layer of fractured rock deep beneath the surface of Mars, with cracks filled with liquid water. This water-rich layer is estimated to lie at a depth of 7 to 12 miles beneath the surface, making it incredibly difficult to reach with current technology. Despite this, the discovery offers a new perspective on the Martian water cycle and provides clues about how much water the planet may be hiding. Mars has long fascinated scientists with its potential for having once harbored large quantities of water. The surface geology of Mars offers compelling evidence that the planet was once covered in water, perhaps even with vast oceans. Features such as ancient dry lake beds, river deltas, and outflow channels suggest that liquid water played a significant role in shaping the Martian landscape billions of years ago. Today, Mars is a cold and dry world, but scientists believe that in its distant past, it had a much more Earth-like environment, with liquid water flowing across its surface. To fully understand how Mars transitioned from a wet and potentially habitable planet to the barren desert we see today, scientists must determine where all that water went. There are two possible destinations for the water that once existed on Mars, it either escaped into space or it became trapped within the planet's interior. The recent discovery of potential liquid water reservoirs deep underground suggests that some of the water may have migrated toward the planet's core, becoming isolated in these subterranean reservoirs. If true, this discovery could help scientists understand how water on Mars has evolved over billions of years and what this means for the planet's potential habitability. Although the discovery of deep underground water reservoirs is thrilling, it also presents a significant challenge for future Mars missions. The depth at which the water is located, between 7 and 12 miles beneath the surface, makes it extremely difficult to access with current technology. Drilling to such depths on Earth is a monumental task, requiring specialized equipment and significant logistical support. On Mars, where temperatures can plummet, and the terrain is harsh, drilling to these depths would be even more challenging. Despite these obstacles, understanding the distribution and amount of water on Mars is crucial for planning future exploration missions. Water is essential for supporting life, and if large reservoirs exist deep underground, it could dramatically change how we approach human exploration of the planet. For now, scientists will continue analyzing data from past missions and looking for new ways to identify the most promising locations for future exploration. The discovery of liquid water on Mars is not entirely unexpected. Over the past two decades, a wealth of data has shown that the planet still harbors some water, though it is mostly in the form of ice. Polar ice caps, as well as subsurface ice deposits, have been well documented by orbiters and rovers. However, these ice reserves are nowhere near the amount of water that would have been present on Mars billions of years ago. 
The discovery of potential underground reservoirs offers a new piece of the puzzle in understanding the planet's water cycle. Mars' current water cycle is vastly different from Earth's. While Earth has a dynamic hydrological cycle, with water constantly evaporating, condensing, and precipitating, Mars' cycle is much more static. The planet's thin atmosphere and cold temperatures prevent water from existing as a liquid on the surface for any extended period. Most of the water that remains on Mars is trapped in ice or buried beneath layers of soil. If scientists can confirm the existence of liquid water deep underground, it could help us understand how water has moved and changed on Mars over time. The presence of liquid water on Mars has enormous implications for the planet's potential habitability. Water is a critical ingredient for life as we know it, and its discovery opens up new possibilities for the existence of life on Mars, both in the past and possibly even in the present. If Mars once had vast oceans, as some scientists believe, then it may have had the right conditions to support microbial life billions of years ago. Understanding whether Mars was habitable in its ancient past is a key question for astrobiologists. Moreover, if liquid water still exists deep beneath the surface, it raises the possibility that life could exist there today. On Earth, we have discovered life in extreme environments, such as in deep underground mines and at the bottom of the ocean. These environments, though harsh, provide shelter and nutrients for microorganisms. Could the same be true for Mars? It is possible that tiny organisms or other forms of life may be living in the relative warmth and stability of Mars' underground water reservoirs. While Mars is a focal point for the search for water beyond Earth, it is not the only celestial body in our solar system where scientists have discovered water. Earth's moon, for example, has been found to contain water in the form of ice, primarily at its poles. In these permanently shadowed regions, where sunlight never reaches, the temperature remains cold enough for water ice to persist. Though not as extensive as Mars, the Moon's water ice could also be a valuable resource for future exploration missions. Saturn's moon Enceladus and Jupiter's moon Europa are also promising candidates for finding water. Enceladus, despite its small size, is home to geysers that spew water vapor and icy particles into space. These geysers indicate the presence of a subsurface ocean beneath the Moon's icy shell. Similarly, Europa is believed to have a vast saltwater ocean beneath its frozen surface. Scientists consider Europa to be one of the most likely places in the solar system to find extraterrestrial life, given the potential for liquid water and the presence of essential chemical compounds. Looking beyond the solar system, astronomers have discovered water in some of the most unexpected places. In 2011, scientists detected a massive cloud of water vapor surrounding a quasar located 12 billion light-years from Earth. This cloud, which contains 140 trillion times the volume of all the water on Earth, is the largest and most distant reservoir of water ever detected. The discovery of this water cloud is significant because it suggests that water has been present in the universe since its early days, just 1.6 billion years after the Big Bang. Water is a fundamental building block of life and its widespread presence throughout the universe raises profound questions about the potential for life beyond Earth. Whether in the form of ice, liquid, or vapor, water's existence in so many diverse environments suggests that it may be more common than we once thought. For astrobiologists, each new discovery of water offers another piece of the puzzle in the search for life in the universe. As we look toward the future, the discovery of liquid water deep beneath the surface of Mars marks a pivotal moment in our quest to explore the Red Planet. While the challenges of accessing this water are immense, its existence holds the key to unlocking the mysteries of Mars past, present, and future. Understanding how much water remains on Mars, where it is located, and whether it has the potential to sustain life will be critical for future missions. At the same time, Mars is just one of many destinations in our ongoing exploration of the solar system. With each new discovery, we move closer to understanding the role water plays in shaping planetary environments and potentially